Hey guys, it's me again. Sorry if my face looks really dark, but I could like zoom in on you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm losing daylight and I'm kind of mad about it because it took forever to put my makeup on and do my hair and whatever. I wonder if I could move you guys. That's better. Ooh. Get your lighting over there. Have you on a chair? Oh, crap. What a better way. Okay, whatever this works. As long as you can see my products, I don't care. Um, I went to Goodwill about a week ago. Yeah, a week ago. I went to my mom's for a week just to hang out, hang out with her and stuff. I go there pretty much every other weekend since I moved out. She has my bookshelf back here. It's not filled up yet. Still haven't got my house the way I wanted it yet. But anyway. I have a Goodwill haul for you. We were going to go yard sailing, but it rained literally for a week when I was there. So I just, just, we just decided to go to Goodwill. And again, if you hear cussing, screaming, yelling, anything in the background, that's my boyfriend in the other room playing his games with his friends and they get a little loud sometimes, mainly him, but. But we're just going to hop right into this. I don't have a lot because I left some of the stuff at my mom's because they are Christmas presents. Yes, I know it's only May and I already have Christmas presents. But they're like DIY Christmas presents. So, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to hop right into this. I have some glassware right here. Sorry if you don't like that crinkle on the paper. I'm cool at making a video. Babe, get out of here. How's it going, YouTube people? Get out. <laughs> Sorry. He's a nerd. I will be making a video with him soon, so don't worry. But here's the first product. It's this cute, this is actually for him. He hasn't even seen it yet. Um, this cute little donut mug. He likes coffee. We both drink coffee sometimes. Um, it doesn't matter. I need to get coffee when I go to the Dollar Tree or Aldi's. I'll be getting another Dollar Tree app for you guys here soon. But I got this because it reminded me of him because he likes donuts and I like donuts, so we'll both be using this. So I got that one. And then this one's totally mine. It's another one. And it's totally mine because it reminds me of myself. You can't really see it, but it says this might be wine. I like wine. I drink wine. Not a lot, but... Maybe it's not an alcoholic, but, um, I like wine, and sometimes I do put them in coffee cups, and nobody under, nobody knows what I'm drinking. But, yeah. Those are the only two coffee cups I got. Let's see. I remember. Here we go. Oh, my little angel. I love angels. I have a bunch of angels in my house. I like to surround my myself with angels I my dad passed away in 07 and I considered him an angel to me and my grandma just recently passed away and an aunt and then my mom's aunt so I consider them all angels to me they're all watching over us so I surround myself with little figurine angels <laughs> and I found this one she was only a dollar I think the other the mugs were a dollar each I think yeah this one was a dollar and this one was a dollar so they were all a dollar each, which is not bad for a coffee mug. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get one for a dollar too. But she was only a dollar too, and you totally can see that. But yeah, I love her. She's so pretty. I don't even think you can. She's holding a present. I think she's a Christmas angel. I don't know. But she was cute, so I got her. And then, and what I only have two bags, but in one of the bags. Oh, and I got curtains that are not in here. I got really little red curtains to put in here. Ooh, excuse me. In here, my living room. I'm like, my bedroom, I don't know. Yeah, but this is a little box. Like this. And it's for recipes. It's like a recipe box. Um, we do a lot of, I, I like to write down a lot of recipes. And it's got this group of cards. And then it's got like the little spacers and everything. I don't know if you guys could see any of that, but 
I wasn't paying attention if I was even on camera. But I love doing stuff like this. I love having stuff like this. And I'm already like collecting recipes for my little recipe box. My grandma, both of my grandmas I think have something like this. But I know my the grandma that recently passed away, she had one of like old timey recipes from like her mom and then like my great grandparents. And but I bought one for myself and it was only two dollars, which is not bad. My curtains were eight dollars, by the way. And then I got this cute little candle stand. You really can't see it because it's like dark brown. I got this for a DIY and this was only it was originally $12.99, but I got it for two bucks. Don't think you can see that, but I got it for two bucks. And then you can never have too many shoes in my book, but these are really comfortable shoes and I'm going to start wearing them out everywhere, but they're these type of, they don't have the back on them. I have, I know I'm only like 26, going to be 27 <laughs> years old and like I have bad, I have, I get gout sometimes and I have bad, really bad arthritis in my ankles and I don't really like, I mean I like gym shoes because they do support me. But sometimes I just don't. I usually wear a lot of flip flops. I wear my flip flops a lot. But I consider these like shoes. But they're no shoes. I consider these kind of gym shoes. I'm going to start wearing these all the time. These were only $4. And they're in my size. I can adjust how tight or whatever. I can hide them as tight as I want. As loose as I want. Whatever. Um, but they're really comfortable. And I tried them on in the store. And they were amazing. Now, you see this bookshelf behind me? A bunch of books. I still have books to put on here, but I bought more books because I, when we moved in here and I was starting to go through stuff because we pretty much packed and then when we got here, went through stuff that we didn't want, didn't need, like clothes, um, knickknacks, not my makeup because I probably like having a lot of makeup, having a lot of options, but I threw out a lot of books. Books that were ripped, books that I just didn't want, nobody else wanted, and I wasn't going to try to sell if nobody else wanted them. So I just kind of threw them out, and that's unlike me. But we needed the room. So now I'm going to like replenish up on books that I'll actually read, because those were books that I've never read a day in my life. Uh, most of the books on this bookshelf I have read, most of them, because I keep buying books. But that's my problem. You you have hoarders. My mom calls me a book hoarder, but I don't think I am. But whatever. But I bought more books at Goodwill because they're between a dollar and three dollars. It just depends on what you want, what you like. I guess I'm not gonna like read the back of it, but I'm gonna give you the gist of you know what it's about. But this one's called. Mom, he did it. This is a, I think it's a mother and daughter. Yes, a mother and daughter wrote this book. And I guess it's about somebody, I don't know. It's like, it's it's a twisted plot. It says, um, I don't know. I got it because it is a mother and daughter duo. I love when mothers and daughters are the authors. I love books like that because it... I guess it like puts in perspective of a mother and daughter situation. I don't know. It says a mother daughter mystery. I didn't really read it. I thought it looked good, so I bought it. Whatever. I'm bad about that. Like if the cover of the book catches my eye, I'll read like the first couple lines of the back of what it's about. I'm like, I'm horrible about that. This book. This is a John Edwards Afterlife Answers from the Other Side. I. When I was younger, um, me and my dad used to watch him all the time when he was on TV. All the time. And I always told my dad I wanted his books, one of his books. I never got his books. But I'm trying to think. No. I don't. <coughs> I have a lot of autobiographies on here. Like I have Roseanne, I have Chris Jenner, Larry the Cable Guy, the, one of the Goslings. 
one of the Gosling's books. I have Miley Cyrus. I have two Doctor Phil books. So Princess Diaries book. Not Princess Diaries. Um, about the actual Princess Diana. But yeah, I got this because it was. Well, how much was this book? I think the mother daughter book. Was, yeah, this one was only a dollar because I think it was because it was paperback or something. But I got this for a dollar, and then. Uh, this I think for three bucks yeah three dollars which is well worth it because it is an autobiography and I do buy and read a lot of autobiography books um books like this spiritual books um I don't know what it is but yeah so I bought it I wanted it been wanting it for since I was younger when I, me and my dad sorry I'm moving my leg I'm gonna move you guys again as far as that like makes you sick but um, my dad and him, my dad used to watch him all the time. He believed in this stuff. I believe in this. Sorry, my iPhone. I believe in this stuff. Um, I believe in the afterlife. I believe that there's got to be something after we die. I don't know. All I know is I believe in this stuff, and I'm gonna start reading this book as soon as possible. Then I got another one. This book was only. Two dollars. I never. If there's a book more than three dollars, I don't buy it. Like at any store, unless it's like a brand new book and it's like in a series. And yes, I'll buy it. But other than that, I won't. Um. Ooh, excuse me. Did not mean to burp. This is called The Pact by Jody Picoult. If I butchered the name, I'm so sorry. But this is a love story. Um. I think it's. It's about two teenagers, they fall in love, they're like high school sweethearts, and then some their family wants them to split up. I don't know. But it sounded really good when I read the back of it. I can always put this up for you guys. You can't read that. <laughs> Never mind. I am going to be saving up money to get a good camera to start filming. Right now I'm filming on my crappy phone. I would film on my iPod, but it keeps saying I don't have enough space, but whatever. This is good enough for right now. I'm already at 12 minutes, so I talk a lot. Anyway, got that book. And then I got The Secret Language of Sister, and this is Sisters. It was only a dollar. But this is, um, screw it, I'll just read the back of it. When Ruth Ann Rue McCab responds to a text message while she's driving. Her life as she knows it ends. The car flips and Rue winds up in the hospital, paralyzed, silent. Everyone thinks she's in a coma, but Rue has was locked in has locked in syndrome. Sorry when I read. Sometimes out loud I sound like a weirdo. <laughs> Sorry. She can see and hear and understand everything around her, but no one knows it. She's trapped inside her own body, screaming to be heard. Mathilda Tilly is your sister and best friend. She was she was the one who texted Rue and inadvertently caused the accident. Now Tilly must grapple with her overwhelming guilt and her growing feelings for Rue's boyfriend, Newton. Newton. Anyway, <laughs> the the only other person who seems to get what Tilly is going through. But Tilly might be the only person who can solve the mystery of her sister's condition. Who can see through Ruth's silence to the truth underneath. However, or somehow, through medicine or miracle, will both sisters find their way to heal. And this song is really inspirational. Sorry, I have to move again. I like, cannot get comfortable on this floor. I am going to seriously, like, get me, like, a little fold-out table and, like, put up and set up everything. I'm getting a freaking tripod for my iPod. <laughs> that totally described it. I didn't even mean to. A tripod for my phone so I can, um... Like the film. Sorry, I'm like really chatty today. I don't know why. But this, it sounded really inspirational and I love books like this. Um, and it looks brand freaking new. It looks like nobody's even read it. Yeah, it looks like nobody's even read it. But I bought it to read it because it sounds amazing. Even though, you know, the sister does get hurt in an accident, which you should not be texting and driving. Even though a lot of people do it. Get them in when I'm with somebody, it scares me. 
out of me. But and this is this is from Nicholas Sparks. I don't remember his name. Nicholas Nicholas Sparks, The Best of Me. I haven't even seen the movie, but I want to read the book first before I see the movie. I'm pretty sure if I know that this is well, I'm not going to read the back of it. It even has... It has pictures from the movie. I have not... Or I guess it's pictures from the movie. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. But I want to read this before I watch the movie. But I have two books from the dollar store that I want to read first before I start reading any of these books. Yeah, I'll show you those too. They're on the shelf. They were in my last haul. Actually, I have three books from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. I do buy books from the Dollar Tree. This is Me and Emma by Elizabeth Flock. This one is, in many ways, Carrie Parker is like any other eight-year-old girl. Eight-year-old playing, making believe, dre dreading school, dreaming of faraway places. But even her imaginative mind can't shut out the realities of her improvised... I cannot read big words sometimes. Improvised, I guess, North Carolina home, or help her protect her younger sister Emma. But but turns achingly naive and utterly pragmatic, Carrie has been shaped by the loss of her beloved daddy and by a drunken stepfather and her emotionally absent mother, charting an astonishing course of survival. For herself and Emma, she hopes to transform their lives into one more closely resembling the storybooks she treasures. But after the sisters' plan to run away from home unreveals their world, it takes a shocking turn in one shattering moment, ultimately reveals a truth that leaves everyone reeling. So amazing. That's why I want it. That's why I bought it. Like, I literally, right when I go, I go to Goodwill. Maybe once every few months. And I will literally walk through the aisles and then go straight to the books. Just to see what they have new there. But I know I just need to get it right here. There's two of the books. And then I have one actually on the shelf. But I know I got some. This one. And this one is called... Grand Central Original Stories of Post-War Love and Reunion. It's, I guess it's a, I haven't read it yet, but I guess it's just a bunch of love stories from, yeah, I guess original stories of post-war and reunion. I haven't read this. I've had this for almost a year now, still haven't read it. I have so many books that I have to read that I'm going to be putting, like, in my mind to read when my boyfriend plays his games I should. Um, but I love love stories. I love mysteries. I love the teen books. Like, I know I'm not a teen anymore, but they're my favorite books to read. Um, children's books. I don't have any children, so I don't ever read those. But yeah, I got those, that one. And then I got Burial Rights by, by Hannah Kent. And this is from the Dollar Store. Or Dollar, Dollar Store. Dollar Tree, I can't even talk. I will read what this is about too. Hopefully you guys aren't getting sick of me reading these. Excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. Excuse me again. And anyway, there's no way I'm gonna be able to say this woman's last name. So I'll just say her first name. In charge with brutal murder of two men, Agnes has been removed from her homelands. Father farthest reaches to an isolated farm in northern I Iceland to await execution. Horrified at the prospect of housing a convicted murderer, the family on the farm avoids Agnes. Her arrival threatens the peaceful rhythm of their way of life, while her stock approach to the daily chores of the of an unsettling contrast to the passion that rumors have it drove her to kill. Disturbing proof for them of the dangers that can lurk beneath its blasted surface. Only Torty, Tati, Torty, Tati, sorry, 
a priest, Agnes, has mysteriously chosen to be your spiritual guidance, seeks to understand her. As the winter months pass and Agnes' death looms closer, the farmer's wife and his daughter lean, learn there is another side to the central tale they've heard. But will their new knowledge be enough to save her? Hannah Kent brings the... Oh, that's about them. That's about the author. But it sounded good. I love murder mysteries, too. Like, I'm, I'm weird. I buy a lot of... James Patterson. I absolutely love his books. Like, oh, and Laurel McDaniel. I love her. Um, the Child Called It series is really good. I'm trying to think. I've watched, or I've watched, I've watched a lot of books. I've read a lot of books. I read a lot in school, too. Reading is my favorite pastime. Like, if I have to go to a waiting room, or if I have to go... Anywhere where I have to wait, I literally take my book. My cheek is so cute. Anyway, and I don't edit these videos. Like, I literally upload these. Like, the day I do them. But this one is Autumn Falls by Bella Thorne. And I like it. I don't know if you can see. It's totally on the other side. But the nails are here, I think. Well, they all glow. They're all like glitter and glisten. You totally can't see them. But I'll read what this is about. With her fiery red hair, new girl outsider status, and tendencies to be a total klutz, Autumn Falls definitely isn't flying below the radar, radar as Aventra High. Luckily, she makes some genuine friends who take her under her wing but she also managed to get on the wrong side of the school's bee queen and then finds out the guy she started to like, funny and sweet Sean, hangs with the mean crowd. But her rep and her potential love life are at stake. When Autumn vents her feelings into a journal that belongs to her late father, suddenly her weirdest wishes start coming true. Is it a coincidence, or can writing it in the journal solve all her problems? And if the journal doesn't work that way, is there a bigger purpose for it, or and for her? <clears throat> yes. I was in the I, I don't know, just read it, loved it, loved the cover because it does glitter. Sorry I'm getting like so close to the camera. My flash is on today, but you guys really can't see which is really gay, but I am totally going to get a new camera. I don't know when. Um, I have a question for you guys. Shh. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, should I change my YouTube channel name? Um, I made my YouTube channel a while ago. I mean, I've been, like, I've been signed up for YouTube for years now. But, I mean, my... YouTube name is crazy bitch, which I can be. I am I'm not gonna lie, but I'm thinking about changing it since I am gonna be starting to do a lot more videos for you guys. Um, I don't think anybody wants. Oh, my! I mean, everybody knows my name is Melinda. If you guys have been here since the beginning, my name is Melinda. I used to do singing videos, and then I got into haul videos and makeup videos and stuff like that. I mean, I. If you guys want, I could sing, I guess. We could do singing videos still. Um, I love doing my haul videos. I absolutely love those. I'm going to do some videos with my boyfriend that you've all seen him interrupt. <laughs> I'm going to do, I know this is like so old and so behind the boyfriend tag. Um, I'm going to do one where my boyfriend does my makeup. Just like, I mean, full blown makeup, like they all do, but. Um, I'm going to get a laptop so I can start editing, <laughs> editing videos. Um, definitely going to do that for sure. Uh, but I'm just wondering if I should, if I shouldn't, since I've been on YouTube for a really long time. I mean, I've been doing videos for the last few years off and on. Um, but I have done, I have had my 
channel, you know, so to say, for a really long time. And I've had it crazy bitch for a while now. Um, but I'm just wondering, because a lot of YouTubers that had their names before have changed their names. But they, they didn't, I don't know. I've been thinking about it, but I don't know. Like, I've been thinking about the change to someone's life or... I mean, I don't vlog. I don't do anything. I'm the, I am literally just sit at home doing nothing, watching my boyfriend play games or cleaning or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a vlog one day when I'm actually doing something. If I don't think I would be comfortable in public, actually, with a camera. Like, I can't even do videos in front of my boyfriend. Like, I come into my spare bedroom and <laughs> do them. Um, which is, I'm gonna, I want to do an apartment haul. I want to get it, like, clean, because it's kind of dirty right now. Clean, and, like, pictures up on the wall, and that, when it actually looks like a home. Um, I'm gonna do an apartment video. An apartment tour. Um, but yeah. And I might just do videos of me coming in here and just talking. I don't really, I'm, like, the next town over from where I used to live. I used to live with my mom. I've lived with my mom for years. Um, but I'm the next town over from where my mom is. I don't have any friends here, really. I mean, I have friends that come here and, like, see me and spend a couple of days with me, like, the weekend or something. But I don't have... Actually, I really don't have anybody. I have one friend that comes and sees me every once in a while, but she's always working. But, I don't know. I'm blabbing. I need to end this video. It's almost 30 minutes long and I literally don't end it at all. Edit. No, I'm kidding. Talk. Edit it at all. I go straight from me filming it. I look over it and see if I have to refilm it and then I upload it. But I will see you guys later. Um, I'm hoping I'll probably do a grocery haul too this week. Because I'm going to all these in Dollar Tree and I was in Dollar Tree Hauls. But I'm thinking about I'm thinking about doing grocery hauls. Just to show you what I eat. I'm going on a diet, so I gotta really do grocery hauls. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Love ya.